Welcome back to Reddit Stories. I'm Shane, and I'm joined today by Chance, and once again, Mac does it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You're a fan favorite. People love you. Yes. Everyone loves me. Uh, and today is a bit of a party. We're celebrating because it is our 50th episode. Oh. Ah! 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 This, this had some, uh, it like a little bit of it blew out this the small side onto my finger oh, and it no. kind of hurt a little bit. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you need some ointment? No. Okay, I don't no, know. No, but it was just interesting. I've never had he that happen He just wanted us to know. Okay, okay. Got I just it. wanted to tell you. <laughs> Got it. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is our 50th episode. It's a bit of a party. So these are all going to be uh, party centric stories. Uh, have you guys been to parties before? We love a party. We yeah. love a party. We love to party. <laughs> Great. We love to party. What is that? Party, party. Okay. What is that? Is that a song? It is. All right, let's get into these stories. Woo! Am I the asshole for ghosting at parties? Mm. I'm gonna say no already. It's like, no. Interesting. Like Leave, an Irish bro. goodbye? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other day I was at a barbecue and was talking with everyone when a friend said to me, I have a bone to pick with you. Ooh. I was a little shocked because I like to think I'm nice enough and get along with people, but I was keen to find out what her issue was with me. You don't say goodbye, you just leave, is what she said, and it's true. I prefer to just leave a party and let everyone keep going. I do it because if I announce I am leaving, then people often ask me to stay or ask why I'm leaving. Sometimes it makes other people think, yeah, I might go too, ending the party early. I prefer to just disappear. Anyway, I explained myself to this friend and she said, no, it's super rude. We're Australian, so I told her to go f herself. <laughs> and, we both, <laughs> and we both laughed. After that barbecue, I made a point of saying goodbye to her directly, but I still prefer to ghost. My wife isn't a fan of me doing this, but she uh, has long since accepted it. All right, that's, it's a quick one there, but I think oh, that's, a, okay. that's a common topic oh. mm -hmm. amongst people. Uh, and, and so you, you said right off the bat, you don't think they're an asshole for, for doing that. No, because it kind of does take down, it, one, take down the mood. It's like announcing, yeah. I'm leaving, so the party is done, and that's not exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But it kind of feels like that sometimes. It's like stopping the momentum mm -hmm. Interesting. of a thing that's going. And people do make you feel so bad for leaving. It's like, no, I'm trying to take care of myself. Yeah. I need to leave right now. Right. And... People will like be like, yeah, yeah, one more drink or nah, 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 nah. no, shut up, Karen. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Ashley, I don't want another drink. I just told you mm -hmm. I'm going home. And I a lot of times feel like I have to come up with a valid enough excuse mm -hmm. to get out of the party. Sometimes I just want to go. Right. And if my excuse is not up to their standards, then they're like making me feel bad for leaving. Yeah. Mm. I get that. This I, feels personal. It is personal. <laughs> I feel that too, though, because well, I'm someone who feels really guilty and social pressure really like affects me. So yeah. people are like, no, don't go. Like, what? Why are you leaving? I'm like, F and it makes me go yeah. home, and then I feel like shit the rest of the night. And I, I, it, it carries with me a little bit. Used to be more so the case. I think I've gotten over that yeah. nowadays. I feel like nowadays it doesn't bother me. I also feel like people aren't as affected as much when I say goodbye. I guess it depends on the party. It depends on the party. Yeah. Too, yeah. I think it's the, the type of gathering matters, so. Mm -hmm. I simply do not care. If I wanna go, I'm like, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm tired, <laughs> I'm going home. But do you say goodbye? Yeah, I'll say goodbye sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes to some people. It depends on the party though. If it's like a lot of people, I'm just like, I'm going. You yeah. Know? I don't need to say goodbye. I'll it, say goodbye to one person, just head out. I would say roughly, if it's like 25 or more, if it's big, where there's so many people that there's a bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, it's like I can't say goodbye to everyone. If it's a birthday party, I'll try to say goodbye to them, Yeah, mm -hmm. usually. Uh, but otherwise... I think it also changes who you came to the party with. That's also true. You come with your girls, you leave with your girls. Yes. Girls in quotes. <laughs> yes. But it's like, if, if you're coming with like a group, if you're like coming from a place and rides and things, like you should say bye to the people that you came with. I agree with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, because you can't just ditch them at a place. Yeah, fully. So the verdict was, the verdict was asshole. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. For leaving without saying goodbye. Yeah, for, for and I, 
I, like I said, I think it's, it, context matters, like different different situations. Uh, there's some edits here that maybe affect this. Okay. Some, uh, they edited and said, I should note that I do try to tell the host I am leaving if I can get them alone without causing a scene by saying goodbye. And if not, I text them to say thanks. It's just everyone else I'm trying to avoid. Edit two, she was not the host of this barbecue. It was my in-laws barbecue and she was a neighbor that was invited. I ghosted that event late into the night because my house is a few hundred meters down the road and I was 15 shades of fucked up. Mm. Um, now people are saying, you're the asshole, not a big one. You are the wrong one here though. I understand you don't want to make a scene but at least say goodbye to the host. Uh, they said, fair call, I accept and acknowledge that. Now, that might have been before yeah. they added mm -hmm. that edit. The host is, that's nice. I think that's important. But also, if they're doing, <clears throat> if they're, like, hosting, if they're, like, doing the thing, you don't want to interrupt them. Right. And and once again, to me, that depends on the size. I've, yep. been, to, I've been to parties where there's, like, 80-plus people, and I'm just like, I'm a blip here. Like, yep. unless it's my best friend or someone very close, I'm like, does, yep. it, does it matter? Someone said, no one's the asshole. I think you are all well-reasoned, but at least thank the host before leaving. And he said, I do try to do that if I can get the host alone or without causing a scene. Most of the time I text them and say, I have left, and thanks for the party, though. I think that's, that's perfectly great. Yeah. yeah, that's Yeah, great. some sort of acknowledgement. Uh, someone did say, not the asshole. This is called an Irish goodbye. I usually do it, too. As long as you're not doing it for some petty reason, it's totally fine. But I see why people would get upset. Uh, someone said, funny, uh, where I'm from, it's called a French exit. Someone else said, uh, where I'm from, it's called the Florida f*** y'all, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, someone said, an Irish goodbye is leaving quietly so you don't get sucked into an, oh, just stay for one more, it's early, sure, uh, round of pints, which will inevitably turn into five more rounds. Yeah. Source, I am Irish and fully support this method of exiting. If I'm at someone's place, I'll just send a text saying I left and thank them. Yeah. Also depends on how early you're leaving. Also you show up and you're there for like half an hour and then you bounce, I'm like, you should let them know. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's for me. This really depends, case by case basis. Final edit. Today I learned that this is called an Irish goodbye. Thanks for all the support from fellow Irish goodbyers. To all the the people that think I'm rude, I accept that with open arms and will try to tailor my approach a little differently moving forward. Um, uh, so it feels like the asshole verdict is like a light asshole verdict. Yeah, um, I think. To me, I, I'd have to know this guy and be at these parties that he's leaving and to, to make that determination. That's yeah. kind of my take. It just all depends, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it's impeding on anyone else's happiness. Well, I mean, even this person, they laughed. Yeah. They laughed about it. Yeah. I think it's like a laughing, like, That's good. you're an asshole, mm. kind of whatever. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all right, moving on. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> my hand my hand blows off. <laughs> no, Shane, it's not worth it. <laughs> yes, it is. Am I the asshole for taking back the beer I bought for a party from which I was uninvited? Interesting. So like no one drank the beer? So you like took well, it. Well they bought they bought beer for a party and then they were uninvited, so they Oh he took it with Oh, okay. Well yeah, I, Okay, from the title alone, I'm like, no. And from the title alone, no. If you're not invited to a party, you're not. But let's see why they got uninvited. Mm -hmm. no. Maybe they should have offered up the beer as offering. We'll see. Ooh, <laughs> as an offering to the gods. <laughs> yeah. This happened just a few hours ago. I am a 19-year-old man, and the people calling me an asshole are 18-year-old men and women. On Thursday... A 19-year-old with beer? What's I'm 19, and they're all 18. Right. So, <laughs> Sir, already. Think about that. On Thursday, a person I had a major crush on in high school, but who rejected me, messaged me out of the blue. She had never contacted me without my contacting her first, and at one point I realized she had had me blocked on social media, and so I found it odd that she was suddenly being friendly. After sending a couple of greetings slash questions about how I've been, she said that she was going to have some people over and wanted to know if I would get the beer. The drinking age where we are at is 19, and she and the people who were going to chill were all 18. The liquor stores in my area all card. I thought it was silly that my being a month older meant I could buy liquor and they couldn't, and so I said I would love to go. She said, thanks, I'll pick you up at seven. Seven o'clock rolled around and she texted me to say she was in front of my house. I went out dressed and ready to chill with some people and she drove me to the liquor store. When we got there, I asked what beer she wanted me to get and she told me to get Budweiser. I hid my disappointment as well as I could, but it was her party, so I went in and bought two cases of 24. I got back in the car and she said, let's party. And she was eerily quiet. I noticed that she wasn't driving towards her neighborhood, but rather back towards mine. 
I thought she had moved or something, but didn't want to press the issue. When she turned down my street, I finally figured it out. She was being purposefully vague about the invitation because she wanted me to get the beer, but she wanted a way out, and she told me I wasn't actually invited in the first place. What? She stopped in front of my house, leaned over, kissed me on the cheek, and said thanks in her best voice. I deadpanned her and asked when she was going to tell me I wasn't invited. She feigned surprise and said that she never intended to invite me in the first place. I sat in silence for a long, awkward minute, picked up the beer, and walked towards my front door. She got out of her car and frantically tried to re-invite me to the party, but I told her that what she did was the most humiliating thing that has ever happened to me. I opened my front door, slammed it a bit too hard, and came back to my room. Now I'm sitting here drinking absolutely unpalatable piss water. <laughs> and I have text messages from all of her friends and her asking me why I'm being such a dick. I don't think I'm the asshole for reacting the way I did, but if you haven't figured it out, I'm not, I'm, I'm not amazing socially, so I'm not sure. Am I the asshole here? Oh, I feel bad for yeah, it. Yeah, that's like a, a movie type of scene, you know, where I'm like, are people actually that shitty? Damn. <laughs> yeah, she just sounds like a piece of shit. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, and he's a month older. You know, there's a part of me that's like, don't buy beer for minors, but mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not gonna get too much into that. I guess he's like a month older than her. That's true. It's I'm just like he this just- takes place in Canada? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's not something I can really relate to because in America, you know, the drinking age is so different that if, yeah. you're, if you're doing that, it's like super sketchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel bad for this guy. I mean, the idea of trying to use someone for a party that they're not invited to, that whole basis feels wrong. I probably still would have left the beer. Really? Oh. Yeah, I think it's just not worth it. Just like. Interesting. This means so much to you. I think this was a shitty thing to do. Here's your beer, and I hope you enjoy it. Mm. Yeah. It's a curse almost. I, a curse and a blessing. I can certainly say that, I'm not proud to say this, but if I was in his situation, I probably would have too. Because, especially when I was like a teenager, I just was, I had no self-esteem. Yeah. You guys are so nice. I am petty. It's not nice, it's, <laughs> but it's not coming from a place of nice. Yeah. It's coming from a place of just like, okay. If this is like, what you need to okay. find like I take it. I would have yeah. simply opened the beers and poured them onto the ground. Oh my God. I'm petty, I was a petty teenager. Mm -hmm. Oh. But what she did was already so petty that it's like, I would have yeah. been even pettier. With that. Mm -hmm. No, I would have, I would have, I would have, <laughs> I would have left the beer with her and then years later have been like, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh really? That's what have been my, I, would, I wouldn't be ni a nice thing. It'd have been like, damn, I really, I really got f***ed over there. Yeah. Whatever, but mm. yeah. It's an L, you'll just take the L. <sighs> yeah. I wouldn't do it now, mm. well, obviously, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, you saying you wouldn't buy alcohol for 18 year olds right yeah. now? Yeah, <laughs> uh, guys, crazy <laughs> opinion, I wouldn't do that. Um, we got him. Verdict was not the asshole, obviously. Yeah. Comments here. I originally commented asking for more information, but decided it really didn't matter. No. Not the asshole. To be completely honest, it kind of sounds like you weren't actually invited. She just asked if you would get beer for her for the night. That being said, it's definitely an asshole move for her to reach out yeah. to you after a long period of time, seemingly out of the blue, just to ask you to bra uh, break the law for her, and then not even invite you to the party after. Mm -hmm. From my understanding, you bought the beer with your own money, so you're absolutely in, uh, not in the wrong for taking it with you once you realized you weren't being invited to the party. You didn't yell at her, call her names or do anything rude, just took your beer and left. I actually don't think you could have handled this better than you did. If there was a stronger judgment than not the asshole, I'd give it to you. Someone else said, my thoughts too. I got the impression she was just asking him to get the beer. That's it. She's still the asshole yeah. for everything else. OP said, kind of. The thing is, I made it very clear that I thought I was going to be joining and she never tried to correct me. Mm. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. Give them the beer and then call the cops. Oh. <laughs> too much? No? But then wouldn't they Gas know, everywhere. they would find yeah. out you bought it. <laughs> They'd be like, he uh. he'd probably get in the most trouble out yeah. of all. Uh, for legally speaking, he f***ed up of just like, don't do that. Yeah. So, uh, we got some more comments. FYI, if you have a decent skillet, you can cook some bratwurst in those beers, cook down the remaining liquid into a syrup, and add it to some mustard for a really tasty meal. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay, yeah. Go All right, Ramsey. let's go! That's awesome! <laughs>
Not the asshole, blatantly. How did she expect this to go? You'd happily go buy her beer, then take it to the party, then leave without partying or drinking your beer? They have to all be a bit cracked in the head if they believe that was ever going to work. I'd take a Snapchat of me pouring that down a toilet before I ever gave it to them. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I hope you can move past what a nasty piece of work this girl, not woman, is. 31K upvotes. Did you know that was me? Type yeah. of. <laughs> they could be crazy to think that it could work, or they could have done this before. Mm -hmm. Damn. And that's yeah. probably more the case, because she had him blocked, so this is probably not the first time that she's done this. He was probably like the last resort. Yes. Probably, yeah. It's just so sad just to view people as like, just, just to fully use Tools. them. Yeah, truly just a tool. I'm like, that's so sad. Yeah. What a sad way to view the world. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, 18, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully they <laughs> change. Uh, the last thing, this is kind of a side note. I was talking to some of the crew yesterday, funny enough, about Budweiser, and I'm like, I've never seen someone drink a regular Budweiser. No. I've never seen it. Mm -mm. I've never once in my life mm -mm. seen someone drink regular Budweiser. It's always Bud Light. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Observation for yeah. That, uh, let me know in the comments if you have had a Budweiser before. <laughs> I want to know that it's real. Are you weird? <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Comment down below if you're fucking weird, man. <laughs> Bud Light is the light version of Budweiser. Yeah. Is and it? Budweiser's got the is like the more it's got the, the red. red. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think Bud Light is the light version of Budweiser. <laughs> I never knew this. Wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's that's yeah. how little <laughs> yeah. That's how rarely yeah. you see Bud that's Weiser. That's how little you see Bud Weiser. That's they insane. sell it at stores, but I walk past it. I'm like, they are always fully. Who's stocked. buying it? I don't know. Who's buying it? I don't know. I, I've been to football games and it's been. only Bud Light. Right. I, it's just a dusty pack in the corner. <laughs> Please. Can I get the Bud Weiser and the, the cashier's like? <gasps> Everyone in the store just turns. <laughs> Nobody's bought Bud Weiser here in 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's an ancient curse on it. Am I the asshole for ruining my friend's birthday party by taking back the cake I baked for her? Okay. So it's not beer this time, it's cake. Okay. Cake is different. Mm -hmm. All right. New rules apply. <laughs> yeah. I like how this one starts. My friend is quirky. Okay. You said you like how this one started? Uh, it just, it's just funny. That's just a funny first sentence. Okay. Like, my friend is quirky. My friend is quirky. Okay. She's different. My friend is quirky. I have had to spell things out for her a lot. A few months back, she borrowed a dress of mine. I really love that dress. Okay. There isn't any sentimental value, but I got it when we were on vacation a few years ago. She also loved the dress and one day just transferred the money to my account and told me that she was keeping the dress. Oh. Okay. Told me. She told me. Okay. That she, uh, it's mine now. I have purchased your dress. Okay. Just so okay. you know. I spoke to her, but she just told me that it doesn't matter as she has paid me. Mm, no. Okay. No. Wow. Her birthday was a week ago, and her mom asked me to bake a big cake for her. I usually sell cakes cheap, little more than what the ingredients cost. On her birthday, I went over to her house with the cake 15 minutes before the party was due to start and decided to talk to her mother. Like I said, sometimes my friend is really clueless and I was hoping her mom would speak to her and get my dress back. I was very shocked when she, the mom, also said that as long as I was paid, what does it matter? She told me to just move on as it was just a dress and that my friend really liked it. She told me as long as the dress was paid for, what am I complaining about? I got really pissed off and pulled out the amount she had just paid me, put it on the table, picked up the cake, and left. She got mad and started yelling at me, saying that I was ruining the party. Uh-uh, as long as you're paid, what does it matter? <laughs> I kept walking back to my house. She kept telling me to give back the cake and that I couldn't take it back just because I wanna be, I wanna be petty. I just asked what, sh what was she complaining about as I had paid back the money. Right, right. My friend ended up having a cakeless 16th birthday because of this. Yeah, uh, that's a fascinating way to, to do things. She got a real good with her own medicine. <laughs> <laughs> she got a real Damn. good. That's a that's a bold move. You Borrow can't... something from a friend and just be like, "All right, I paid you the money." It's but it's also like when a lot of the things that are my favorite uh, articles of clothing, I can't buy again. It's not like I can just go out and buy it. Like, the, where would I buy it from? It's gone. Right. Now. It's right. gone. Like, there's no. Yeah, way. a transaction also requires like. Um, uh, consent. consent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it requires being like, I would like to purchase this. 
Very I will well. sell this to you. <laughs> I will sell this to you, good <laughs> sir. Uh, they just completely negated that part of it. Uh, I'm always blown away. Like, it's one thing, you know, 15-year-old turning 16, it's like, okay, when you're, I, I guess I'll give a benefit of the doubt to teenagers. But the mom then doubling down on it, it mm. always blows my I mean, mind. Yeah. Gotta figure out where, where she, she learned, learned it from. from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> um, I, she treated her like a library. That's kind of funny. It's like, oh, well, yeah. Pay the money. It's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, treated her like a library. Okay. <laughs> Read her. <laughs> Damn. Uh, verdict, not the asshole. No. That'd be shocking. Unless she went there knowing she was going to pull that cake shit. Interesting. Unless she knows she's going to pull that cake shit from the beginning. And then I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. Like you taught them, you got them, you did get them, but at what cost? At the cost of the friendship now. Right. But would you want to be friends with someone after they did that to you? Maybe not, but you're the one who pulled the last trigger. I don't know. Did the last, you did the, you pulled the last. You pulled the last cake away. You pulled the last cake away. I'd say at the very least that that's even. Like you're just kind of like, all right, we're both, both there. I don't know. The stakes are higher. It's her birthday, and it's 15 minutes before. And it's her yeah. 16th. Ugh. Six, that's a big I, one. I, don't, I, 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 I would say no, because she, she went there and she talked to the mom. And she tried to, She said, I went there, and I was like, hey, can I, can I get this dress back? So that gave him a chance. And the money, and the, the mom, the gu she didn't have the exact amount of cash on her. No, the mom just refused. The mom was like, no, she paid you, so it's, it's. So, yeah. So then she was like, okay. Oh, but you're saying she had the exact amount of money. Yeah, she did it. That's the a backup mom, plan. The mom gave, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The mom gave it to her, so she just gave it back. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I if don't know. If she would have come in having the exact amount of money. Right, right, right. Comments here. Not the asshole, obviously, but I'm dead laughing at this. They can have the so what, it's paid for mentality, but if it comes back on them, it's petty, LOL. Someone said, I would just get $200 in singles and go shopping in their house. I would collect the TV remote and leave 20 bucks <laughs> in this place, grab the laptop charger and leave another 40, frames of family photos, drop another 10, handles to their <laughs> kitchen cabinets, good. two bucks a piece, That's caps good. to all their pens, $5. <laughs> Are TV remotes really 20 bucks? No. Damn. That's a nice ass TV. Maybe Damn. an Apple TV remote. That's the one from mm. Click. Uh, <laughs> someone said, it was not for sale. It cannot be replaced. End of discussion. She did not have a cakeless party. They just had to go to the store, not the asshole. You were openly disrespected and stuck up for yourself. Petty? Yes. Asshole? Yes. Justified? Also yes. It wasn't the kindest or most mature thing to do, but hey, you don't let people walk all over you, so respect for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of giving like 1,800 salesmen, I'm gonna give you $20 for this fine property. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is not for sale. <laughs> what? $25. It is now. No, no, <laughs> sir, it's not. <laughs> Your entitlement baffles me. Um... It's, uh, there's been a couple Reddit stories about uh, people taking cakes away at the last minute. Mm. Or the other one was three days before, and people get really, like, throw a fit, and they're like, we don't have a cake now for our party. I guess, I'm seeing my personal point of view on this, of, like, if it was my birthday, I, I don't mind grocery store cakes. Yeah. Know, so I'd just be like, all right, I'll just 100%. Mm -hmm. Especially nowadays, a lot of birthday parties that I go to, if they're not, like, classic birthday parties, if it's just, like, a get-together for a birthday, sometimes there's not cake. Yeah. Oh, there's not there's cakes, been a lot of cupcake candles. stuff, a lot of ice cream stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, changes. But I'm also not like it's just not a huge part for mm -mm. me with a birthday, so I can't. Mm -mm. can't really. So it depends. What kind of flavor cake was it? I wonder. You know, mm, she yeah. baked it, mm -hmm. and she bakes these often. It sounded like Ooh, so it could be good. It could be really good. Yeah, yeah. I'd have a fit. You know, I know it's important to some people. You know, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't piss off people before you ask a huge favor of them. I guess. Don't piss off the people that cook your food. <sighs> yeah. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> A moment of silence for that, yeah. <laughs> T. <laughs> no, Shane! Shane, stop! <laughs> my hair just, my hair just like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Am I the asshole for not inviting my friend to my party because she would ruin the aesthetic? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gonna say what? you're the asshole based on that <laughs> sentence. 
Uh, the theme is winning. And, uh, <laughs> and you, sorry, you're the theme you're is closer. hot girls. And like, <laughs> you're just not. Oh God. Okay. Alt account because I don't want my friends to see this. <laughs> okay. I, a 29-year-old woman, started a small online book club for book lovers in my city about a year ago. I know it sounds a little nerdy, but it's not like that. We're all just some girls who like to read and share our thoughts, especially on historical fiction. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I like historical fiction, okay? Well, I've been seeing a lot of those book, book balls on TikTok recently where people throw huge parties where everyone dresses up extravagantly in ball gowns and those intricate masks and parasols and whatnot and thought it looked super fun. Only there weren't any being held anywhere near me, so I decided to hold an intimate one with the girls from my book club. There are, a lo uh, there are about a dozen of us, and we've met up multiple times, so we're all good friends. One of these girls is a close friend of mine. I'll call her Sam. She's 29, and she does not like to dress up at all. She's always in sweats or athletic clothes, never does her makeup or hair, just doesn't really care about her appearance, even for formal events. I remember she skipped our prom and wore jeans to our ceremony, which is fine. She's a beautiful girl, but I didn't want that at my ball, so I didn't invite her. I sent out beautiful invites that I spent a good chunk of money for, rented out a small hall that fit my budget, catered, and only asked my friends to pitch in about $20 each to cover some costs. Everyone bought beautiful extravagant gowns and accessories, and I got even more excited. Well, eventually, word somehow made it to Sam, and she asked me about the event. She asked if I was really hosting an event for the book club and not inviting her, and after hesitating, I said yes, but only because I know she would never wear a ball gown or put effort into looking good. Oop. She said she was upset that I wouldn't want her there even if she wore her regular clothes, and I told her that's not fair, that I put in all this effort for a beautiful event where everyone can be a little extra for one day, and I didn't want her to ruin the aesthetic. She hasn't spoken to me since, since then, and the ball was two days ago. A success, by the way. Everyone looked amazing. Am I the asshole for not inviting her because she would ruin the event? <laughs> Damn. Should I not invite my raggedy friend? <laughs> she didn't even tell her. I, 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 that's the problem. She, <laughs> she removed the choice. She, yeah. She thought so little of the friend that she didn't even ask, hey, this means a lot to me. I need you. I would want everyone there to dress up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to invite you, but I need you to dress up. If you don't want to dress up, I would prefer you not come. Yeah. Because these are the terms of my party that I'm hosting. Right but to remove that choice. And I mean, if she worded it like that, yeah. that's so fucked. Yeah. You know? Um, and she's like, I know you wouldn't dress up. Well, you didn't give me a choice, so how, you don't, yeah. you actually don't know that. Exactly. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I think she's the asshole for sure. I, I think also there, you know, people, people have their different vibes and different yeah. ways of dressing and stuff. And some people aren't comfortable with dressing certain ways. I think it's a matter of, it could also be a matter of like, hey, I know you don't want to be in a ball gown, but what's the heightened version of what you like, you know? Or mm -hmm. can I help you right. find an outfit for my party that I want you to come to? That you would feel comfortable in. That you would feel comfortable in. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> so yes, she is the asshole. Yeah. Uh, the not, much. not for not inviting her, for thinking so little of her friend that she wouldn't even try. Yeah. Or not offering help. No. Assuming makes an ass out of you and me. Oh! There you go. And the verdict, the verdict, <laughs> the verdict is asshole. Uh, some comments here. You're the asshole. I would have sent her an invite and said that the attire was mandatory. That, the, that, that way she could have chosen whether or not she wanted to attend. And if she didn't, no loss to you. If you two are as good of friends as you say, then you should have at least told her about it so she didn't hear it from anyone else and feel left oh, out. Oh, yeah. That's so true. I don't understand the concept of not inviting someone and being like, they're not gonna hear about it? They're always yeah. gonna hear mm -hmm. about it. Uh, and then also, that could be a conscious choice as well. A lot of people, I feel like, um, don't make, big decisions like that. They make subtle decisions that say, like, uh, this is how I feel about you, mm. without having to say, this is how I feel about you. Mm. Yeah. You know, this is another one of those stories, I've said this before, where, you know, I mean, the contents of this story makes her the asshole, but there's a lot of times where, even if she had asked her, the way she's writing about her friend, yeah. 
also makes me just be yes. like, you, mm-hmm. you're an asshole. You don't, you, like you don't respect person. your friend. Yeah. Like, is this your close friend or not? Yeah. You know? Um, uh, another comment. This one's interesting. Someone said, everyone sucks here. You should have at least given her a choice and opportunity to dress up by inviting her, and she needs to understand dress codes. It might have been a you're the asshole had it not been for her reply where she was upset that I wouldn't uh, wouldn't want her there even if she wore her regular clothes. People can people can cry. People aren't aesthetics all they want, but if y'all are paying for and creating a whole event dedicated to dressing up, she needs to understand she can't show up in a jeans and t-shirt. It's not appropriate and it's disrespectful. Don't want to follow the event theme dress code? Don't go. You wouldn't show up to a wedding in swimming trunks and a tank top. Yeah, I mean that's I, I sure, but we're dealing with a what if there. Yeah, you know, I mean, we also don't know the exact wording of this yeah. conversation. What she said back and like. She was so hurt, she was probably just like, you just didn't want me there at all. Yeah. Um, Lastly, someone said, not the asshole, not everyone gets invited to every event, especially if it's an event that not everyone would be all that into. She didn't attend prom, presumably because she didn't want to get dressed up for it. And since the dress up costuming was the major theme for this event, it's okay to not invite those you didn't think would enjoy the event. I, I, I still disagree. Like, you're, you're all part of this book club. The whole theme, the whole basis of this is like, oh, these book club people do these things. Invite, invite them, but just let them know. Yeah. I, I agree of just giving them that choice. These are the terms. Um, uh, how do you guys feel about dress codes for parties? I love a dress code. Yeah, I love a, I love a good dressing up moment. Mm-hmm. And I love a good party. It's also so annoying when people blatantly disregard the dress code. Because mm-hmm. that's disrespectful. In, in, it in is disrespectful. Way, yeah. yeah. And the dress code is there for a lot of parties as a topic of conversation. Like, I went to a wig party a couple weeks ago, and every time someone comes to the door, it's so exciting mm. to see their wig and get to talk, and you feel so free because you're like, I'm wearing a wig, and it's a topic of conversation. Why'd you choose right. that wig? So when people didn't come through the door without wearing a wig, it's very like, oh, now not only do, not only are you not adding to this, I feel self-conscious about what I'm putting on my head now. Interesting, yeah. Because you get to look like your normal hot self, and I'm Got wearing it. this <laughs> jerry curl blonde wig. You can wig. be hot in a wig. Yeah. I, and you know, I, I, I agree, and I'm someone who, I, I don't <laughs> love dressing up. I, I, whenever there's a scene party, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm gonna look stupid. Yeah. And I always, uh, I'm not good at finding outfits outside of just my typical three outfits I wear on yeah. Smosh videos. Um, so, Don't but I, but I do try to, I do try. You know, I'm like, okay, this is the thing. This is what's being asked to go. I'm gonna try to try to do that out of respect for them. Huh. Um, but yeah, but at least invite people. Yeah. This episode of Reddit Stories is brought to you by Rocket Money. If you're like me, uh, you're not an expert on finances. Actually, I'm terrified of finances. I hate to look at it. I hate to think about it. Uh, Anything with numbers actually scares me to a little degree. Uh, I'm being very transparent and, and vulnerable in admitting that. So I'm not good with money. So I need something that'll help uh, organize that all for me. And Rocket Money is perfect for it. It lays it all out for you right in front of you, and it'll let you know about your subscriptions, everything you need to know. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings. If you're like me, you're trying to grow your savings, and it's it's great. It, it helps you out so much. I was looking at it today and realized that I was paying for a subscription that I'd forgotten about for months. Uh, so it's pretty ideal. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash pitreddit. That's rocketmoney.com slash pitreddit. Rocketmoney.com slash pitreddit. Back to the show. Okay, moving on. Am I the asshole for publicly telling this guy, this is a college party, you are 26, and kicking him out of my party? Ooh. Hey. (laughs) It's funny because, (laughs) get out of here, old man. But it's also like, bro, you're 26. (laughs) What are you doing there? Get out, get out. Like, no one should have to. Why are you partying with a 19-year-old? You should have put yourself in a situation that someone even had to yell at you for that. God. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh no, I'm scared. 
I do fencing in college. And I'm like, <laughs> Sorry, I love did that. Did he stab them That's too? Awesome. Oh, get out of here! No. Yeah! <laughs> you heathen! Back, back, I say! <laughs> back, foul beast! Parlay, parlay! <laughs> <laughs> I, I do fencing in college, and I'm on a team with women and men together. We have house parties sometimes, and this year, since two of my teammates and I rented a house together, we became the obvious choice to be the party house, and we're happy to host. I'm a junior in college, and my friends slash roommates are a junior and a senior. We invited the whole current fencing team over along with some friends and people's partners. There's this guy, Pete, who is 26 and has been out of college for a few years. Oh, Pete. Yeah. But he keeps trying to come to college parties and hit on the freshmen and sophomores. What the uh, hell? Yeah, I, I, oh. we can't be we can't be too surprised. Oh, I know these people. Oh my god. <laughs> As an underclassman, it always pissed me off when the people throwing the parties would let him in, along with the other guys who had graduated, because I and the other underclassmen girls just wanted to party with people our age, not deal with creepy losers trying to get with college girls. It also pisses me pissed me off that it was played off like a joke with freshman girls being called fresh meat. Yeah, what? Jesus Christ. So when I started throwing parties, I decided I'd do it differently. My parties would be for current team members, their partners, and their college-age friends. But no random guys who were clinging to their old college sports team to meet girls way too young for them. And if anyone causes trouble, they're kicked out. So I threw a party and put in the invite text that this was a college party for the current team members and you could bring a partner or friend. But if you wanted to invite more than one person or someone not from our school to please clear it with me first. It was super clear in the invites that this was a college party for college students. And on the day of, I get a knock on my door, and it's this guy who has been out of college for years. Good old Pete. I tell him this is a college party for redacted state university students only, and he says he is an alumni and did fencing. I tell him I've been in the club for three years, and he hasn't been at one practice. He said he graduated the year before that. I asked him his age, and he said 26. I'm getting frustrated, so I yell, this is a college party. You are 26, and tell him to leave. A couple guys on the team felt like I was unfair because he'd always been invited to parties in the past years when a few guys who have since graduated hosted. I was like, well, just because someone else invited, to, invited him to their party doesn't mean I invited him to mine. Like, why is he coming to my house if someone else invited him to some other party? They said that these were generally open house parties and it was the norm that alumni are invited. I got irritated and said maybe alumni need to not piss off the fresh meat lest the fresh meat grows up and tells them to f*** off. I feel kind of conflicted because on one hand, I didn't invite this guy or want him around. But on the other hand, I did pick up the uh, tradition of hosting club parties and change the rules just because I'm the host now. So who invited Pete to the party? That's, that's How did Pete the find out? address. Yeah. He knocked on the door. Someone invited Pete. He Pete's didn't in just group chat. know mm-hmm. that there was a party. No. One of your friends invited Pete. Let's talk to that friend and say, hey. You get out too. Get out. Don't invite Pete. You it's, kn- you know I don't like Pete. It's also funny. <laughs> Why would you invite him? Yeah. Uh, based on the wording, it's like the other guys, of course, are like, well, it's fine, whatever. But it's like it's just Pete. All the all the women yeah. there are like, this guy. He, yeah. I hate him. He's mm-hmm. making us uncomfortable. I can't imagine this. Like, can you imagine? Even at 26, I want to see Pete. I want to see what he looks well, yeah, like. Oh he God. <laughs> But can you imagine you you've graduated college, you've been out of college for years, and you're like, oh, there's a a college party happening. I'm gonna drive over there. Mm-hmm. Makes me kind of sad. Yeah. I it's live sad, but it's also like, dude, hang out with people your age. <laughs> yeah, I live around a bunch of fraternity houses in my section of LA, and yeah, I can I can't even imagine like just walking up, being like, I'm 20, because <laughs> I'm 27 right now, just me like, hey guys, <laughs> I brought the beer, like and that's just, yeah, that's terrifying. I got Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. And then to, to hit on girls there is like it's just another That's, yeah another layer of embarrassing. Go join a new fencing league. That reminds me of I'm like, sure there's an adult fencing league for you, so you don't have to hit on eighteen year olds. Because yeah. there's like eighteen and up clubs too, and that reminds me of like like the thirty late 20 people that go to those clubs specifically to hit on young people. Yeah, always creep me out when I was eighteen. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. It, you know, uh, it was so common when I was, uh, when I was a teenager in early 20s, like actors, like young actors hanging out, how, mu- how common this was. So yeah. Just, there'd be a couple older guys and like everyone knew that. Yeah. It was just like, oh yeah, that guy, he hangs out and he's 20, you know. Good old Pete. 
25 to 27, but like we are all 18 to 21. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like 26 isn't old, you know, I'm 32. I don't think 26 is old, but relatively, yeah. that's what we're talking about here. And it's just it's just weird, I don't know. It's For an 18 year old who just moved out of their parents' house. Yeah. Who just graduated high school. Yeah. You're 26, bro. Yeah. And and you're you're like you're go you're seeking it out. Yes, mm -hmm. actively. Like I, when I started the story, I was like, "Is he like just happens to be twenty six, living on campus? Right, just happens to be there. That's right, not it's not like an Emily and Paris situation where you're like at a vineyard and <laughs> there's like they live there and blah blah blah. Pete is just like Emily in Paris. No. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> 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 Emily in college. Pete uh, and fencing. <laughs> uh, the top comment is, wow, when did 26 become old? I must be a fossil. OP said, not old objectively, just old in context. Yes. Like in the same way, 17 isn't old, but 17 would be inappropriately old to be in a relationship with a 13 year old. Yes. 26 isn't old in the context of someone's lifetime, but 26 is uncomfortably old to be trying to sleep with teenagers. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Someone said, yeah, I had a classmate who was 43 years old and had not had the opportunity to finish school when he was young. He was cool and never felt too old to be at college functions with us. He and his wife did not hit on the teenagers though. Uh, yeah, OP uh, replied, oh yeah, that would be so different. I invited a few older students who went back to school after some time and since they're still students and on the team too, they're part of the team and welcome uh, the same as anyone else. I just get pissed when someone who has no connection to the school or team anymore, and it's just coming uh, coming by trying to cling to teenagers. Um, someone said to that, I think it may be worthwhile to be explicitly clear that he is not invited because of his age or alumni status, but because of how he treats other party goers and makes women uncomfortable. Otherwise, you're leaving people room to argue, uh, argue back about alumni or older undergrad students or whatever. Um, someone else said, not the asshole, at 26, you are too old to be going to college parties to try and pick up teenagers. I would also be creeped out by these guys. Yeah. Your house, your rules, if someone doesn't like it, they do not need to attend your party. Yeah. Uh, lastly, someone said, not the asshole, first, it's your house and your party, second, just because we've always done it this way doesn't mean we keep doing it this way. Correct. Mm. In fact, as soon as someone utters that phrase, I recommend taking a good hard look at it. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. My question is like, where are his friends from? Like his grade, you know? Why aren't they going to like the bars? Like, That's why is he free on the weekends? No, to be for real, coming around college parties like that. For real. Uh, whenever I, you know, like I don't know, it barely happens, but like whenever I see or uh, am around like younger people, like eighteen to twenty-one, I'm just like, cool. I, I hanging out with you. If it was just people your age. I would feel so uncomfortable. I would just be, I would just, I would just be, I'd look in a mirror and I'd see myself like, like, hey, like uh, so apart. TikTok, guys. <laughs> so is everyone still dabbing? <laughs> yeah. Shame. Is that still, what are you guys doing now? Whip, whip. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right, let's move on. Am I the asshole for asking my sister what the f she expected to happen at her shit show of a bachelorette party? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and there's no story, that's it. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. All right, here we go. For some reason, uh, this is a 32 year old woman. Okay. For some reason, my sister, who's 23, and her fiance, 25, decided that the very best way to celebrate before getting married was to have a joint bachelor bachelorette party oh, no. at strip clubs. <gasps> oh. They also hired a bus limo for the evening. The aftermath was, thus far, three breakups, four people dropping out of the wedding party, one impending divorce, and one arrest. The cleaning bill for the limo was more than the original rental fee also. She was crying to our mom at dinner the other day and I snorted. I tried not to, I honestly did. I was trying my best to just keep my mouth shut. She asked me what was so funny. I said that I wasn't sure what she expected to happen getting a group of people drunk, using illicit substances, and getting horned up watching exotic dancers. She said that I was an asshole for judging her and her friends. I said I wasn't judging, just that literally anyone could have seen that outcome. My mom told me to apologize because my sister is having to replace most of her wedding party on the fly. I did, but I still think I'm right. Am I the asshole? Uh... <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I, the, first of really, all, I, I can't relate to the story at all. Really I've never, bad. I've never, I've never known someone has gone through something like that. A but joint? three breakups, four people dropping out of the wedding party, one impending divorce. But I think their wedding is still on the way. So she and her husband still still made it. They survived the night. Wow. That's did a it lot say to did it say it did drugs too? Illicit substances. Great. Okay. I mean it's a bachelor, so, bachelorette party. I from my understanding, I'm not too big on like I haven't been to any like crazy bachelor parties or anything. I've always thought that, uh, to me, I've always thought it's a little silly sometimes. Like, we're gonna go and go to a strip club and go crazy. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a fun bachelor, bachelorette party in the first place. It sounds really lame, if I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> like, you rented a bus limo and you're going to a strip a club together. together. That doesn't sound fun. Like, I'm, like, it sounds like, it sounds like an AI generated bachelor, bachelorette party. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what it sounds like. Chat. They asked Chat. They asked Chat GPT what they <laughs> should do. Show us a for... wild bachelor party. Exactly. It's like drugs, strip club, bus limo. Bus limo. <laughs> what the hell is a bus limo? It's a big limo, a tall limo, or it's a bus. I'm trying to imagine. A party bus? I I, What's a bus limo? I have been on a party bus before. I've been on a party bus too. I ain't been on a bus limo. That sounds like some AI shit. A bus is a, a bu wait, hold on. A bus it, A bus it, is a limo. Exactly. Yeah. What's a bus <laughs> limo? A bus. Yeah. Yeah. Party bus. What if it's uh, just limo. an extra long bus where the belly of it scratches along the road as you drive? <laughs> Girl, she, well, apparently she rented a bus limo, so. Um, I'm just trying to imagine like the ride back after the ship. What were the breakup? Oh, like, I don't know if during people, uh, the ship. I, I, I think they were Ubers. I okay. I because there's a lot of different elements of this story. Yes. Right? Is she the asshole for saying that to her sister, who's going through all of this horrible shit right then and there? It's like you're her sister. Yes. Probably should you are. not say that. You should probably like. This was the decision that was made. This is how it's going. Probably um, should have said it before the party happened. Yeah, if you're actually gonna try to help her out, be like, hey, yes. you know, these people, I don't know, like, we don't know all their relationships. Bad idea. This, mm -hmm. could, this could cause turmoil for people. Because um, I think there's plenty of people out there who could go and do that and have a great time. But to throw that and just throw a bunch of couples into that, it's yeah. like, you don't know how that's gonna go. True. Um, I've also, I, I, I'm speaking from inexperience. I've never been to a strip club, so I don't know what the vibe is and what that's like for couples. I've only so. been to gay strip clubs. Well, we, I guess we don't know what kind of strip club it was. I know, there's men and there's women. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. It's already dangerous. Because um, you're seeing your partner there. <laughs> Jiggling some yeah. booty cheeks. Yeah. And then suddenly, yeah. Yeah, it's a brand new experience for a lot of people at once. And mm -hmm. it shows it shows you get to see your partner, how they would interact in that space. And usually, I feel like a strip club is a space that you are away from yeah. your partner, or like you're single. And seeing that probably elicited a lot of feelings. It's like, that's how you interact with people? Oh, that's not the person I thought you were. Yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. And now I don't sit well It's an uncomfortable situation. For a lot of people, I think it's an uncomfortable situation, right? Yes. I can understand how insecurity arises and stuff. Um, the verdict was asshole. Um, for the sister for saying that mm -hmm. to her at, at dinner. Um, but what well, the top comment here uh, was not the asshole and I probably would have said the same thing, LOL. But you got to spill the, the beans. Who did what to cause a divorce, breakups and dropping from the wedding? Cheating with strippers, cheating with each other? Come on, this could make the best of Reddit updates. OP said, I'll give the tamest example. Yes, yes! <laughs> My cousin is a talented singer. She is single and was supposed to sing a song during the ceremony. However, she hooked up with the maid of honor whom nobody knew had that in her, including her boyfriend. This happened in the bus. Oh. The bus limo. <laughs> he got arrested for <laughs> trying to break into the bus while this was going on and several people were cheering them on after locking him out. Oh my God. So wait, let me get this straight. So, so the maid of honor cheated on her boyfriend with their cousin, uh, who was going to she was going to sing the song during the ceremony in the bus in limo, the bus while he walked out, and he's going, he's like, what's and going on? And everyone else, and the is cops like, are arresting. He's like, yeah, yes, girl, <laughs> infidelity. Oh. 
Um, someone else said, obviously nothing in this thread is gonna change your mind. You come off as extremely stubborn. Here goes. Everyone sucks here to everyone, uh, including you, except your sister, unless she was literally one of the cheaters or directly told someone to cheat. Uh, OP said, I'm pretty sure I got voted the asshole. I already went over this morning and apologized again. I am taking over as matron of honor and my sister has been reading these comments and giggling. Okay. Uh, all right, so this is basically, okay. There's a huge update comment here. <gasps> okay. Update. It's a comment, but it's an update. Okay. <clears throat> OP says, fine, the maid of honor and her boyfriend did not break up. Okay. Wow, so they, they, they got through that. Um, yeah, just drugs were in the equation, so he's probably not in the mindset. Mm -hmm. The other bridesmaid who is married was in an Eiffel Tower with two of the groomsmen. <gasps> what? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait, the who? Uh, uh, the other bridesmaid, Emily in Paris, uh, who is married <laughs> was in an Eiffel Tower with two of the groomsmen. The other bridesmaid who is married was in an Eiffel Tower with two of the groomsmen. One groomsman has dropped out along with the bridesmaid. Her husband has left her because I guess this isn't the first time. Oh my God, this feels like a movie. This needs to be produced by A24. This is, this is by <laughs> the way, that's over. just the beginning. That's the first paragraph Shit. of like oh my God. five. Oh my God. The other groomsman in that group has no fucks to give and will be attending. We are lucky that by the time the cops showed up, everything illegal had been taken, eaten, ingested, or swallowed. <laughs> I stayed mostly sober and stayed with my sister all night so she could party and not do anything too stupid. My husband also attended and I had tasked him with keeping an eye on the groom. He decided the best way to keep the groom out of trouble was to get him pants shitting drunk, which he accomplished with the only casualty being some underwear, a, sa uh, a sock, and a pair of Levi's. Wait, what? Wait, uh, what? wait, wait. He, he shit uh his pants. Oh. <laughs> uh, the only casualty being some underwear, a sock, and a pair of Levi's. So he shit his pants so bad it got down to the sock. Just for clarification, the bus slash limo pissing me off the most, uh, came out as the worst victim in this whole, in this whole debacle. By the end, it was a, it was a bus. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it needs a biohazard cleanup and maybe ah! some, upholstery, ah! some upholstery, upholstery replaced. My dad is pissed. After reading the comments, <laughs> after reading the comments, I went to see my sister this morning and gave a more sincere apology. She asked me to be the matron of honor and I accepted. If anyone here is free, Saturday we still need someone to sing the rose during the ceremony. If anyone I'll is free, it. bitch, I will do it. We need someone to bite. sing the rose during the ceremony since my cousin is currently persona non grata. Uh, I only know about the breakups from hearsay, but suffice it to say that getting a group of friends who have a lot of sexual history together and giving them drugs and alcohol, then taking them out to see naked people is a terrific idea if you are not getting married in a week. A week? I don't think I realized it was that close to the wedding. Oh, a lot of bachelor I... bachelorettes are like right then mm -hmm. and there. Oh really? I Wow, okay. Reminds me of that, um, have you seen that movie Climax? No. It's like a group of dancers take a bunch of LSD by accident and like everything just goes crazy. That's what this reminds me of. Wow. It's a crazy film. I recommend you see okay. it. At I least want to point out, life. I want to point out a sentence that I just heard. <clears throat> yeah. A group of people who have a lot of sexual, sexual history, history together. Mm -hmm. Also, let's look at, I never in my life <laughs> have I been like, the solution to my problem is for you to shit your pants. Never in my life have I ever been like, I know how to get us out of this. <laughs> shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got him so drunk he shit his pants. That was the, actively, that's what, what yeah, yeah. purposely. Like she's like got him so sh uh, like shit, uh, shitting pants drunk. What, what was the wording? Uh, get him pants shitting drunk, which he accomplished. What, get, read the sentence before that. Uh, into it. My husband also attended and I tasked him with keeping an eye on the groom. He decided the best way to keep the groom out of trouble was to get him pants shitting drunk. What? Oh, it's the groom. How uh, would, huh? I think, I think a lot of dudes, when it's like a bachelor party, they, they just, something in their mind clicks where they're just like, oh, you're the, you're the bachelor, I'm gonna get you so drunk. I think that's how a lot of- To make sure he stays to, out of trouble? To make sure oh, he stays out of trouble. That's clearly a lie. It's clearly, he just was clearly like, he's like, all right, I'm gonna keep him out of trouble. I'm gonna get him really oh, drunk. No. Straight people. Yeah. <laughs> um, crazy. Yeah, no, I can't. baffling. Can't I'm glad I'm someone that when I get 
I, even just like beyond buzz, like when I start getting drunk, I just get sleepy and I go, I go to sleep. Yeah, I can't, I can't get to this level. But once again, I'm not shitting myself. Once That's... again, I'm gonna say it again, the drugs. Ah, uh, yeah. See, I don't, I don't. Yeah. But that's I what do that. it's I, I had them. the realization, like, uh, I was in my mid to late 20s when I finally had the realization of just how I'm like, how do people, how do people keep going? I yeah. fall asleep. And then I was like, oh, it's drugs. That yes. cocaine, yeah. Oh, wow. Huh. Mm. Okay. Um, there is an update. 2.0. Oh, <laughs> the wedding was called off. <laughs> As you may recall, my sister had a co-ed bachelor bachelorette party that went sideways. If you were hoping for more f**kery, you will be sorely disappointed. My father and husband had a talk with several of the miscreants uh, that would be attending the wedding and put the fear of God into them. We found someone to sing the rose and my husband stepped in as a groomsman. Uh, as I commented, I did apologize to my sister for my insensitive snort and comment, and I was her matron of honor. We also got a couple of girls to fill in for the missing bridesmaids. The wedding went off beautifully, and when everything was said and done, the only real consequences were one divorce that was probably going to happen anyway, one arrest that will plead to a misdemeanor most likely, and one pair of underwear, one sock, and a pair of jeans. Sorry to disappoint, but nothing much of note happened at the wedding or reception. Well, thank God there. No, that's a good thing. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I can't handle any more. Um, the fear of God. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> like literally or like a metaphor? Probably metaphor. Okay. Probably just they were like, you're going to go like, to this wedding. He's like a pastor. Be like, ah, oh, Jesus will come down <laughs> and smite you. Okay. Um, but I'm glad the sister apologized. <laughs> um because, yeah, in her sister's darkest moment, she yeah. was like, hmm, well, you had this coming. It's yeah. like, okay, it, you don't need that. Yeah. That's a conversation you have like 10 years later, where it's like, well, that was pretty funny. What were you thinking? Yeah. You know, um, but right then and there. If you had to attend one of these parties that I just read, <gasps> which one are you oh. choosing? Because I know my answer. Oh, I know my answer. Oh, so answer. now I have to go to this party. Okay, so. Which of these parties are you going to? Okay, so the first one is just an Irish goodbye. So that's a barbecue. Oh, it's a barbecue. barbecue? It's a barbecue. Okay. Uh, the second one is Budweiser. Third yeah, one is third, the cake. second one we're not invited to. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it's a bunch <laughs> of 18-year-old girls. Yeah, yeah the, the two of the parties are like college and, and high school, so mm -hmm. oh. you probably x nay those ones. Oh, baby. I feel like the answer is pretty easy here. I, I don't know if we're all agreeing. I'm going to this bachelor party. I'm going oh, to the no, shame. <laughs> I'm, going, um, I'm, I'm not going if, to that. If I'm not involved, no, I'm going just to chill. I'm going to have What's yeah. the problem with me going I'm going to that I'm going to have a I'm just going to have a single Budweiser and I'm just going to hang out in that bus. I'm going to be in the bus just like yeah, just having a shame. glass of wine like Ooh. shame. 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 Can you Shane. imagine me at that party? Shane, at my Gemini ass, I'm either taking care of everyone, oh. which is me cleaning up all the shit pants, people, oh. and mm -hmm. whatever liquids there might be, or I'm gonna be the most ratchet one. <laughs> but either of those are unacceptable for me, so I can't go to that bachelor yeah. party. See, I, I can't I, go. I, if I'm not, Fully, if I'm somehow not fully friends with these people, yeah. but I'm somehow on the bus, yeah. then it's a great time. Then I'm just observing. I, I think I might go to the college fencing party. Yeah? <laughs> I think it sounds pretty fun, yeah. Okay. A fencing party, okay. Yeah. It just, that sounds fun. The second, I don't want to have to deal with the 18 year olds of it all at the underage drinking party, and they're drinking Budweiser, so like, yeah. Ugh. I would. Second place is the cake party because I want to go to that party and then like talk. I want to be like, oh, oh. And I'm like, well, you took her dress, <laughs> but I paid her. Well, you also <laughs> took it. I know. I want answers. That's what I want out yeah. of all these. I'm yeah. not going for the party. I'm going to for the tea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They're all a tea party. 100% the, the strip club. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, we're going to that. <laughs> It's gonna be great. That's the most chaotic time. one. I love chaos. Mm -hmm. I'll be sitting up, especially if I, if I knew the person, people closely, I'd probably be emotional with it. But if I didn't know anybody that much, I'd be like, oh, like, oh she's ooh. crazy. Oh, is that shit? Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, that shit? I remember the first the first party I ever went to was the most chaotic party I've ever, actually, no, that's a lie. A, a chaotic moment I witnessed, first party. I was a teenager. Was last week. Mm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I was a teenager. <laughs> And um, I'm like a very sweet kid. Like I do not get in trouble. I don't drink mm -hmm. and I don't do anything. But I'm at this party. I'm just like, I'm like a party. I've never been to a party before. And it's a house party and I'm in the back and there's a pool there. There's a fire pit. 
like one of those portable fire pits, yeah. whatever. And uh, a fight breaks out mm. uh, between these two dudes, and they they are fighting, oh, fully wow. fighting. Fists are getting thrown. They're they're wrestling. One of them gets thrown into the fire pit. He tumbles like into the fire pit, gets out. His jacket's on fire. He is fully on fire, still going. And I'm there by the fire pit. I remember some like sparks got under my pants. Oh. And I remember just being like, oh, oh. Whoa. Like I, I just I kept watching. Yeah. I was just intrigued. Wow. They keep fighting, and the guy who his jack was on fire. He eventually also gets thrown into the pool, mm. um, and then he he gets out, and that was kind of the end. It was I think he knew all the elements had been thrown at him. Mm. He was done. He had to take the wow. L at that point. But I remember just being like, "This is crazy." Yeah. <laughs> um, I wasn't scared. I was just genuinely fascinated. And my first my first high school party, we took shots of tequila, and then I broke a door. Oh, okay. End great. of that story. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that you took a shot and then you went and like the, the handle just came off and you're like, aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've been at some crazy parties. Um, what? Yes. <laughs> party? In, Chance. I'll just give you some highlights. In college, one party ended up with me getting mustard showered. What? There was mustard. What? There was just that. It, it's uh, mustard's like a condiment. It's yellow. Oh yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Next, no, that uh, at first what that sounded like was World War. Am I one. the asshole for getting uh, showered <laughs> in mustard? What the, <laughs> what the hell? And then since moving to LA, y'all drag queens party like crazy, mm. like crazy. Manila Luzon, Scarlet <laughs> Bobo, y'all crazy, y'all crazy. That's all I'll say that's about the end that. Of that okay. conversation. Yeah. That's the end of that, that conversation. That stays within the community. <laughs> yeah, that's for us. <laughs> okay, work. No! <laughs> yes! It came back. I had, to, I had to bring it back. I had to bring it back. <laughs> work. Okay. Um, work. Um, all right. Good, Shane, good. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got this. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you both for being here for this special episode. This was really great. Once again, guys. Oh, I don't know. 50th episode. Are we ready? Yeah. 50th episode. Let's go. Ah! 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 It's okay. Ah! It's you okay. can do it, Sean. Ah! It's <laughs> Shane. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, our cameraman's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. This was really fun. Uh, these parties were wild. Uh, be safe out there. Party responsibly. Um, and or don't, you know? Give us more stories. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I don't need to party anymore. I'm done. And really? Just kidding. I'm, 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 Let I'm, us know where we could rent a bus limo in the comments. <laughs> yeah, what what do you think is a bus limo? <laughs> yeah, draw it for us. That's the, <laughs> draw it down below in the comments. Figure out that technology and do that, please. <laughs> oh, and before we go, Mac, where can people find you? On the corner of Sunset and No. Vine. <laughs> <laughs> Not Sunset and Vine. Not Sunset and Vine. <laughs> Goodbye, I'm girl. We're Spider partying, Man. you know. Nothing good is happening there. <laughs> I'm the Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finding me anyway if you search Mac does it. Figure out how to spell it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.